A candidate for governor wants to undo one of the current governor's top civil rights initiatives. Republican Curtis Hill says he would get rid of the state office of equity, inclusion and opportunity if elected. News 8's government reporter Gary Berquist asked him why. Hill says the office is unnecessary and panders to partisan politics. But defenders of DEI efforts say this could undo years of progress. Current Governor Eric Holcomb created the office by executive order in 2020. That happened after the murder of George Floyd sparked protests for racial justice here in Indianapolis and across the country. Hill says the office never had a clear mission. Well, there's no question that there are issues of a racial nature that need to be explored. But we've already got the Civil Rights Commission that, uh, in my review, has most of the, uh, the, the same responsibilities as this duplicitous program uh, that's been uh, offered by the state. The office compiles data on racial disparities in matters ranging from health care and public safety to education and workforce. It also recently launched a paid work-based learning internship program for high school and college students from diverse backgrounds. Are there any functions of this office that you think are worth hanging on to and you feel you could incorporate into existing architecture? There may be some awareness issues that could be helpful. But again, from a redundancy standpoint, one of the things that we would look at is, is there a reason or a rationale behind why it's not being handled through the, the uh, Civil Rights Commission or some existing uh, office or existing apparatus? So um, if, we can, if we can find that there is somewhere else that this fits in correctly, uh, all the more reason to uh, fold it up. Indianapolis NAACP Vice President Tawan Garrett says the office ensures everyone can access the services of state government equally. Among other things, he says it's already helped minority business owners get state contracts. Let's say that somebody that's a multimillionaire, he's able to access the government in a far different manner than a person that maybe have a couple hundred bucks. And so what, what the equity and inclusion offices are doing is making sure every person from agency to agency is getting their fair shake at accessing that agency or accessing that level of government. Garrett says no other program could do that if the office went away. Hill first needs to get through the Republican primary next May. So far, none of his major challengers have indicated whether they would get rid of the office. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.